Here's number 11. I'm only going to do 11 A and B, and I'll do one video for the last three. So we have 3 over 5 root 3 plus 3. And we need to rationalize. That means we need to get the square root out of the denominator. Now, you'll remember back in the factoring unit that differences of squares can't have middle terms that cancel out. And that's what we want. So we need to figure out what we can multiply this by that would make it a difference of squares. Well, a difference of squares uses the same number. It's just a minus instead of a plus. So we have 5 root 3 minus 3. Here we go. So, and then we're also going to have to multiply 3 by 5 root 3 plus 3. And so let's multiply. So our numerator is going to end up being 15 root 3 plus 9. Because I have to add, you know, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 15 is 15. And then our denominator, we have... 5 times 5 root 3, so 5 times 5 is 25, root 3 times root 3 is 3, so that's obviously a 75. We have 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9, 75 minus 9 is 66. So this one is somewhat tricky. Because, is there a number that goes into 66, 15, and 9? 3. 3 goes into all of them. So we can reduce this by dividing out the 3. Now, th this is what's happening. We're going to have 15 root 3 over 66 plus 9 over 66. So you have to think about it, and the 3 is coming from both parts in the numerator. So 15 divided by 3 is... Uh, 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 goes into 66 22 times. So there is our answer. That's it. So let's take a look at B. We have 5 over 5 minus root 5. And again, we need to turn this into a difference of squares. So what can I multiply this binomial by to make it a difference of squares? Well, we're going to have a plus, and it's going to be the same numbers. What I multiply the denominator by, I have to multiply the numerator by. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times root 5 is 5 root 5 over 5 times 5 again is 25 and we only have to uh, we know the middle term is going to cancel out so we just have to multiply the uh, the ends together negative 5 uh, root 5 times positive root 5 is a negative so then we get 25 plus 5 root 5 over 20. Now is there a number that goes into all of them? And obviously you'll tell me that 5 goes into all of them. So again, this is going to be like saying 25 over 20 plus 5 root 5 over 20. So 5 goes into 25 5 times. 5 goes into 20 once, and five, 20 divided by five, 5 is 4. So there's my final answer. There's nothing more I can do.